Who is living in my mirror? My wandering thoughts were violently tossing and turning from dreams of intense, dark murder and graphic suicide. Dreams of chaos and war. My right eye lazily fell open. Every morning at 3.10, I wake up strapped to a hospital bed with Norcuron pulsing into my veins, a medication that induces severe paralysis. And every morning at 3.10, a silhouette of a man steps out of a mirror that is positioned in front of me and walks through the wall behind it without even noticing I'm here. I could barely move my eyes, but my imagination was fully alive. My bones, my skin was frozen, but I could feel, see, and hear everything with a supernatural sense. Morning after morning, it took about one month for me to notice something sinister, something obvious. Each time the spirit re-entered the mirror, a part of me also faded into it. Each morning, this entity was gone for exactly one hour. When it returned, a dead child cradled in his arms upon stepping back into the mirror. A dead child wearing a different face, a different name each day. This corrupt spirit is somehow stealing children from the cemetery. What twisted reason did it have for accumulating all these children? Who is living in my mirror? Damion was an old senile priest with many morbid secrets. He has been completely alone since he was 16 years old. For the past 10 years, Damien had been constructing an elaborate torture chamber beneath the church floor. He spent his childhood in solitary, being ridiculed and bullied. He grew a dark and strong hatred for children at an early age. Evil has been his main priority. Meditating on the hurts and the anger, Damien would sit in his wooden rocking chair, staring into the mirror that was built into the wall. Year after year, he stared into the mirror for so long that he began to become a part of it. Eventually, he would hear voices calling him from inside the mirror until his wounded ego created just enough courage to follow the voices. He only felt drawn to the mirror at 3.10 each morning. He was skeptical, but blindly, he stepped into the mirror, entering a world much darker than his own. On the other side was a motionless young man strapped to a hospital bed staring at him. Damien followed the chiming voices to the cemetery. Not the cemetery, but the death that lived inside of it. Children, dead children. He wanted a collage of death for himself. A collection of children. So each morning, he would repeat the process of bringing one child back into the mirror with him. He often wondered who this other person was in the reflection. Strapped down, he was probably harmless. Damien would keep these carcasses in the hidden chambers under the church. His demonic thoughts forced him to think of the supernatural. What was he doing with all of this death? He wished to combine the souls of these breathless bodies to make one large evil soul to call his own. Down the hatch, 
deep beneath the ancient church, Damien must now get himself dirty. The eyes and hearts must be retracted from the dead bodies that used to belong to the children to create the truest version of a demon's soul. He needs to consume 100 eyeballs and 100 hearts. It almost seemed like he has done this before. As he ripped the eyes out of the tiny skulls, he started to chew them with his mouth open. Drool and dirty saliva dripped from the corners of his lips as he formed an evil smile. It took him over two hours to completely devour the eyes. Now it was time for the hearts. Ripping through the ribcage of a hundred corpses, Damien tore apart and annihilated one hundred dead hearts. His fragile body quickly arose with evil power escalating from within. The structure of his petite body became inflated with solid muscle. A dark complex like a shadow mist erupted out of him. He had become the demon soul that he had created. At 3.10 the following morning, a monstrous shadow charged out of the dark mirror and ripped me out of the hospital bed by my hair, tearing through the bed straps with one swift motion, the drug still paralyzing me. With a fistful of my hair, he dragged me to his side of the mirror as it broke instantly. I am forever trapped inside this mirror.